Queensland social housing failure. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Sets. I've got my Stein of coffee. I thought we'd have a look at this article from the ABC, which is discussing the failures of Queensland's build to rent scheme for affordable and social housing. Now, I know there are a lot of people and I'm, I'm seeing them all on LinkedIn. Whenever I jump on LinkedIn, every architect's saying, we don't need home builder, we need more social housing, social housing. It's really simple mass guys. The government doesn't care about housing or social housing. They care about stimulating the economy. For every 25 grand they spend, they force people to spend another 150 bucks, 150,000 of their own money, and that magnifies the investment. That magnifies the debt burden they take on for future generations to create more economic activity, which reduces the demand for social housing. Whereas social housing is just spent on that. Every 25 grand gets you 25 grand. It's that simple, everyone. A lot of people don't seem to think of it like that. I guess they just don't don't understand the impacts of well, government spending in the economy. It's all touchy-feely and emotionally sometimes, which is understandable, but something we need to move away from, particularly when tough times are coming ahead and tough decisions will need to be made. So Queensland government's rent to build, or sorry, build to rent scheme for affordable housing fails to produce a single property. Okay. Two years and a two-year $70 million government program to provide low-cost rental accommodation in Brisbane is yet to produce a single property and Treasurer Cameron Dick saying the delay is due to the pandemic. Okay, now the pandemic hasn't been around for two years. It hasn't been around for two years. It doesn't take two years to build a house. It's that simple. You got 70 million bucks. What's going on? The multi-million dollar build to rent scheme was revealed by the Queensland government in December 2018 to partner with the private sector in delivering low rental homes in high rental areas like inner Brisbane. Oh, don't worry. The, this you know, this scheme may not even be necessary soon. You'll have more demand for rental property. Rents are going down everywhere. Developers were asked to build properties on privately owned land with the government to then subsidize rental payments. But 18 months later, no homes have been built. I mean, okay. In South Brisbane, you have a flood of apartments. There are so many of them. Why instead of the government? I know why they're doing this because they're wanting to encourage. They're wanting to encourage. Well, they want to do the exact same thing as home builder. It's all about just encouraging economic activity. But we've got a flood of apartments anyway. So Ipswich woman Carrie Casey said she was desperate to find a clean and affordable rentable property, but it was a struggle. She currently lives with her partner, Anthony Pollard, in a rental property with another couple. couple. Um, then they've just had a baby. The property costs $370 a week. So they're saving money. Well, they're having a house share. I mean, uh, I, I don't see what's wrong with that. Well, what's, what's the issue here, having to house share to save money? Isn't that what people do during tough times? Can, can someone please explain to me why that's a bad thing? Sure, it's not ideal. Sure, it's not ideal, but that's life. It gets tough. And I'm speaking from a household with nine people in it, everyone. You know, we've had family members who've lost their job, so they've moved in. That's what you do. That's what you do, everyone. If you've got a house and you're struggling with the mortgage, you've got an empty room that's just full of gym equipment, what you do is you sell that and you get someone in there renting. So you offset the costs. That's Don't people do that anymore? Have we become an, have, have we become too... Uh, too posh to share <laughs> let me know in the comments guys am i out, am i out of date am i out of date most of our money goes on rent so we're not able to be safe to save and stay home quite a bit you've got four people at 370 dollars a week rent i i i'm getting sick and tired of these these things so let's let's have a look here 370 divided by 4. What am I doing here? I can't even... Bloody hell. 370 divided by 4. 100 bucks a week. Okay? That's not most of your money. If you're looking at a home of about $300, that's almost one person's pay. Um, we're not talking about what jobs, are we? 
When you take out paying other bills like water, internet, and power, it doesn't leave a lot. It does make it difficult. You've got four people house sharing. So the delay due to the pandemic. In a statement, Queensland Treasurer Cameron Dick attributed the delay to the pandemic, which began impacting the state in January. Prior to the impact of the pandemic, the state had progressed to an expression of interest phase for the pilot project, the statement said. The EOI stage sought to identify market participants with the capability, capacity, and suitably and suitable private-owned site to deliver a large-scale build-to-rent development, including a component of affordable rental housing. Delivery of the build-to-rent pilot program has been delayed due to the effect of the pandemic on the market. Miss Casey said she could not afford to live in a home with just her partner. We're probably looking to move at moving to Rockhampton, but that's going to be ten hours at going ten hours away. To, why the hell are they moving to Rocky? Why are they they moving to Rocky? Uh, for work, for opportunities. Last time I went in Rocky, it's not doing that well out there. Sometimes, even if you go further out, they're not even any cheaper. I mean, I, okay. This is the problem. This is the problem. You're moving away from centers of economic opportunity. Your costs are going to go up. There's going to be less work opportunities in Rocky than there are in, well, probably not in Ipswich, to be honest. If going from Ipswich to Rocky, you may be actually going to a better location. Ipswich has, has been struggling for a while, everyone. But it's not that far from Brisbane. So more struggling with housing stress. The Queensland Council of Social Services, CEO Amy McVeigh, said increasing numbers of Queenslanders were struggling under housing stress, spending more than 30% of their income on rent. Before the pandemic and mass job losses across, across Queensland, there were 5,131 families and households or 8,446 people on the social house housing wait list in the Brisbane City Council region. According to our Living Affordability in Queensland report, we also note that low income households in Brisbane, such as those headed by single parents, are experiencing significant housing stress. The government could acknowledge the urgency of the situation by prioritizing projects like the build to rent program. See, here's the thing. I wouldn't go to Rocky. I would go to Logan. Logan's cheaper. You're between the Gold Coast. You're between Brisbane. You've got Logan there. There's going to be more opportunities in these areas, more opportunities for work. I mean, if you're doing Ubering, you're going to make more money in Rocky, in uh in bloody uh, Logan, Gold Coast and Brisbane than you would in Rockhampton. There could be more opportunities for odd jobs in these areas. I, I mean, can, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, so it's four people, two couples living together in a house. One have got a baby. Um, you know, maybe I'm just being too harsh. I'm, I'm used to, you know, we've got my sister-in-law, my father-in-law living here as well as myself and Rachel. We've got the kids. When my mother, she was here for a period when she was house changing. And, uh, you know, we've got an old Queenslander. We don't have two bathrooms. You've got one toilet. You make do. Uh, so here's the thing. Putting your hopes on a government scheme to make housing more affordable, that's not going to improve your lot in life. You're going to wait for it. It's going to be bureaucratic. It's going to be slow. It, it's going to be a mess. It's just going to take time. And there's going to be some developers now that will be apprehensive of even jumping on this just because of the situation. Probably the best thing the government could do would be, you know, buy up apartments at reduced cost because they're going to be definitely some that'll be, you know, going cheap. Wait for the bankruptcies, wait for people the for sales, buy them up and then convert them to social housing. That, that could be an opportunity there. What do you think, everyone? What would your suggestions be? Do you think the government needs to step in? Does it need to do more for social housing? Is the idea of having people share house together to save money, is that is that bad? Have we gotten so luxurious? Or is it just a sign that times are getting tough? That, well, recession's coming. You've got to save wherever you can. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us via using our affiliate links at Amazon or eBay, 
or independent reserve in KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says. You can support us using Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or via PayPal. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time.